Talas. This is game number 2, Horror PH versus Execration. If gusto tayong dali na Execration ng game number 3, kailangan nila manalo dito. Yep, they have the best chance this time around. The Hayabusa can easily snowball on the early game. Because if we look at the heroes of er, uh, Aura PH early game, they have no early game movements aside from Kilowash trying to make rotations on the Benedetta. But again, looking at the side of Execration, they have the Barats and they have the Kagura. Then they have the Cho. na kaya tumulong din pagdating sa pickoffs. At si Chaklo nandito na rin at pinipilit niya talagang kulitin unti-unti. And yung pagiging involved niya na ganyan, hindi naman niya talaga focus na nakawin yung purple. Yeah. Ang gusto niya gawin doon is, yes, siguro manakaw yung purple, pero mm -hmm. the main objective ng pagpunta niya doon is to force Lord Hades na gumamit ng retry. Yep, parang yung ginawa din ng aura sa kanila nung game number... Uh, actually, execution din pala gumawa nun. Nung game number one. And the thing about this rotation from Chakno is it makes sure it makes it sure na Aura PH ililish nila si Lord Hades kasi kung hindi nilish ni JP yung link kanina it, ilang sipa yung aabutin yung link bago niya makuha yung purple buff. Mm -hmm. A lot of thought process na nabato doon. Sad maliit na segment ng laro pero still it makes all the difference yes. in the world para dito sa dalawang teams na to. Execration on the other hand Kelra level or level 3, parehas na ni Benny Cutie. And looking at the late game uh, potential let ng dalawang teams, since may Alice din sa baba, may Harry din sa baba, ano nga ba yung uh, tema or yung timing or yung uh, pulso ng late game dito for these two teams? Honestly, execration, yung timer sila dito is uh, wait for the late game ni Harry. They don't essentially have to do anything on the early parts of the game kasi si Aura yung pwede mag-dictate nun but again, nasabi natin kanina na medyo limited yung early game movement sila that's why they need to force this one out and I really like the lane uh, choice here of Aura PH ang iniipit nila is yung gold lane kasi eto yung primary win condition ng execution the Harith but, butters ang, uh, ang side effect nun is you're giving the other opposite side of the map to the Hayabusa and then again, midnight eto lang yung sasabihin natin dyan if ever dun kayo sa taas pumunta Mapapatay niyo yung barats pero madami kayong resources na gagamitin yes, And that yes, also yes. means na yung objective ay hindi na din mapupunta sa inyo Yep, that's why you're already seeing the gold going in, going to the side of Execration no? Even though 400 or 100 lang yan The key element here is that Execration sila ang lamang sa late game Yes, may lunok sila for the side of our PH against the Harit uh, But again, you have three heroes on your side na luge kay, kay, kay Gelra Ito yung napapansin ko, parang hindi talaga nabibigay na kahit anong priority dito yung side ng Aura sa pagdating ng first turtle. And right now, JP, napili siya ni Kel VJ. Sure, the Shurikens will come out, pero hindi enough yung marks para gawin yun. Yeah. And especially pag may 4 turtles, oh! ah, oh, ito kong sa baba! <laughs> so kill! ng kill! Pero sabi ni Lord Hades, sige, susubukan kita ibawi. Chuck no, nandito sa may area. And uh, Benny Cutie. Wow, nakuhaan siya ni Kelra na isang kill. That was a solo kill, ladies and gentlemen. Even though Lugi naman talaga sa matchup, pagdating ng level 4, it actually changes. Kasi si Benny Cutie, ang kailangan niya lang gawin dito is clear the waves. Pero sabi ni Kelra, ah, MVP ka dalawa linggo ah. <laughs> Alam mo, eto na yung pinag-uusapan natin eh. Meron dalawang Azure Blade si yep. Harith. Uh -oh. Bakit nga ba siya meron dalawang Azure Blade dito? Kasi nagpo-proc yan, sabay. Kumbaga, ano yan, isipin nyo guys na individual items yan Na kahit dalawa yung bilhin nyo, hindi lang isa yung proc kundi dalawa And those two items can be converted into Calamity Reaper and Thunder Belt Napakaganda nung huli ni Kel VJ against Lord Hades Shadow Kill, Shuriken, kahit tumalbog pa yun sa iba Doesn't even matter, Kel VJ still got the kill Yep, and alam mo, Butter is going back to sa Thunder Belt idea ni Kel It's actually good against Aura PH Pero ang daming engagement dito, Butters And wow! Yung plano ng Aura na pinipressure nila yung bottom lane, Execration answers it with their own pressure at mas naging successful sila doon. Yep, alam mo, sabi nila, ito pala primary win condition nyo, ha? si Benny Cutie pala. Siya na lang, guguloy namin kasi yung Barts sa, sa may top lane, kahit namatayan, okay lang, wala silang pakailam. And uh, ang daming nagamit na resources, as you can see, nagamit, actually, ilang ultimates yun? Apat. Apat, Apat na ultimates, yeah. si takedown Renjo. <laughs> eh, Barts yan. Ang ginagawa lang naman ng Barat, stay lane, uh, keep the stacks. Pag nakuha niya na yung Guardian's Greaves, uh, yung Guardian's Helmet, join the fights! Join the fight! M2 World Championship. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Tito naman sa may turtle side. Kel VJ. They are gonna, he's gonna try to get this turtle. Oh. Pinaproc niya yung mga shadows kasi oh. meron din naman kahit pa paano damage kan. Yep. Main maxing ko anumang meron ka doon sa may taas, may push na nagaganap. 
Pantay na sila ng baba. 1-1 sila sa turrets. And uh, looking at this, Kiel VJ, nakuha pa nila yung orange buff ni Ling. Uh, pero alam mo, efficiency yung ginagawa ni, ano, ni Kiel VJ. Yung pagkita sa yung turtle, makaka-shadow out siya. Oh, and look at that. Reset yung turret damage. Oh. At greed, napilitang umalis. At titignan natin kung paano siya makakatakas dito. Eto Max, nasa area na din. Meron pa ba siyang brilliance para makatakbo? Yes, oh meron pa. Pero grabe yung rotation na ginawa dito na side ng aura. Napakalayo niyan from coast to coast. Pero walang mangyayaring pick-off or walang mangyayaring fight. Yep. Alam mo na, ang lupit din talaga ni, ano, no, ni uh, Kilowash. If it was any other player, they would have chased the uh, the Haret. Kasi alam nila na wala naman na Zaman Force eh. Uh, even though mag-cooldown yun, kaya-kaya niya patayin yun within the uh, time frame. Pero kasi kakakita niya na kay Chakno. So iniisip niya na baka kahit habulin ko itong uh, Haret, baka mapatay ko pero mahuli naman ako ni Chakno. So there's a lot of risks involved there with the Benedetta trying to chase for the kill. So ang sabi ni Kilowash, disengage na lang ako. Okay, so Renjo nahuli, Chaos Darkening, ginamit lahat, binomba ng binomba si Renjo. Sama mo na si Lord Hades, 0-3 si Renjo pero ginagawa niya lang din yung trabaho niya talaga. Oo, oh, oh, alam mo, sabi ni Kel na dito, Renjo, trabaho mo rito, mamatay kasi kailangan ko mag-farm. And right now, Kel VJ is trying to return the favor against Aura Pero lalaban pa rin ang RPH Ang ganda na huli ni Benny Cutie Oof, no? Just in time Eto Max, nagkahulihan na Lord Hades goes down Kel VJ gets a kill on Benny Cutie At ang daming nawawala dito sa side ng Aura Pero sabi ng Aura PH dito Mas kompleto kami Make that a 3-4-2 trade yep. in the favor of Aura PH. Pero ito, tignan mo yung trademark ni Kelra. Alam kasi ni Kelra kung kailan siya lalaman at kung kailan siya mababak. Ginamit yung Zaman Force to clear the wave in the, in the uh, middle lane. Pero ang primary, sago, ang, primary sagot, ang primary answer ng execution dito is just to farm. Pare, you're so conyo. You're there, so, I'm so conyo, pare. I'm you're so, so sorry. Conyo, pare. Look at this! 4.7k on both KelVJ and Kelra. Oh, nakuha yung turtle pero nasipa si Kilwash. And Kel oh, Kilowash will be the target. <laughs> Kel na ko. Nakita mo yung pinipredict ni Dash ni Benedetta. Sabi <laughs> niya, Dash to dito eh. Well, kailangan din talaga kasi tamaan. Oh. Yun yung isa sa mga downside ng Chrono Dash eh. Oo. Oh. Yes, maganda yung Chrono Dash. Mabilis mag-cooldown. Pero pag hindi mo natama, hindi rin mag-off uh, mag yep. cooldown. Pero yung ano talaga, yung Sinker Fisher, pinipredict niya kung saan dadaan si Kilowash. Kaso masyado siyang pogi. Sabi niya, sige, tira ko na lang. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, nakuha din naman yung kill. Yeah. Hindi naman lang gumamatter kung na-predict niya o hindi as long as he gets the kill. Now, Benny Cutie. Grabe yung pressure sa kanya and looking at his score right now, 0-3-4. Oh, this is probably the hardest game for Benny Cutie in the entire tournament. We've been seeing the shutdowns on our PH, but we've never seen Benny Cutie shut down on his Alice. Right now, he's trying to recover yung nawala sa kanya sa bottom lane while Kelra is just completely snowballing. And again, the nature of this matchup, lamang ang Haret Butters. Doon sa may baba, merong pick-off na nagaganap and Renjo, mababa flicker out lang siya. Nahuli siya ng flowing blood at ng root ng Alice. Mm -hmm. At sinamahan pa ng Chaos Darkening pero dahil nga sa flicker Ooh. siya ay mabubuhay. At marami ng na Marami ng buhay na nasalba ang flicker. Yep. Pero ngayon, nandito siya na, na naman din, at siya na naman ang pinili at siya na naman ang uulihin. Oh! And Renjo, mauhuli siya ng Tempest of Blades. Pero still, the fact remains, ginamit mo ba rin yung Tempest of Blades? So that means, dito sa, dito sa ginagawang push ng side ng execution at doon sa gagawin nilang push sa taas, yeah. wala kang Tempest of Blades. Yeah, the thing is, out of PH, they're, they're getting what they, they can. Uh, kasi ang problema, hindi rin nila kaya contest yung Hayabusa and yung Haret at this point. So, execution, they're happy with that. Even though, ang natasaktan dito is Renzo, you know, yung item build-up ng kanyang sustain item might be delayed. But again, his job in this game is to sustain for his teammates. It doesn't matter if he dies or not kasi ang importante, mag-scale towards the late game ang execution. Again, napag-usapan natin kanina, walang kailangan gawin ang execution kundi mag-farm. Just have the items ready on KLBJ and Kelra. Oh! KLBJ, siya ang unang tutumba. JP, nahuli siya. Kelra! Dito, just unloading on the side of Aura PH Greed Nahuli ni Eto Max so At Greed Matutumba Nandito na si Kilowash And look at that Electro final blow Sa kita na madami Benny Cutie Ayaw na niyan Muntik na Ang ganda sana ng pasok ni Benny Cutie But on the bottom lane Lord Hades Dito siya nakilala Kahit na sa Signal Ultra pa siya The split push of the link The question is May Malefic Roar ba? Pero Execration A-answer nila, nila yung pag-split push ng link With the Barats Hindi enough yung time na nakuha niya To get 
the uh, the turret on the bottom lane kasi may shield pa naman. But still, this has to be something na kailangan bantayan ng execution. Yep. Yung buhay ng bot lane nila, ibig sabihin kailangan na nila i-wave manage lahat-lahat na nangyayari dito sa mapa as to not get uh, split yeah. by that link. Ito yung punishment na binibigay ni Lord Hades against Execration. Sabi nila, paulit-ulit yung binigay yung lane ni Renzio. Ngayon, eto yung bubutasin ko. Execration needs to put Renzio on the bottom lane at all times to clear the wave. And it makes it so na laging 5v4 ang engagement in favor of Aura. Kasi alam nila, sila, sila nagdidikta. Pwede nilang bilangin yung hero sa mapa. Si Renzio lang yun sa bottom lane. And Renzio, primary target, wala siyang magagawa. Yan talaga yung trabaho niya. Pero Divine Glaive, nakuha na ni Creed. At merong away na mangyayari dito. 4v5 situation. Oh, and Creed, nahuli ni Chuck Nu. Make that a 4v4. JP ang next na tutumpa. Benny Cutie going in. Shadow kill. Oh. Kumapit kay Benny. Hindi siya makakatakot. Oh. Kilowash goes down. Lord Hades, nasa baba. Lord Hades, nasa baba. At hindi niya na mapupush yan. Yep. Na Makiklear na ni Chuck Nu yan. And ito yung sinasabi natin kanina. Butters, Execration sabi nila, sige, pagpapatay, patayin nyo si Renzio. Ang papatay namin yung kakampi nyo, Kelra, with the deciding move. Sabi niya, ilaban natin to. He was Oy, able to get the kill wash. Mababasa ka tayong baba. Pasag yung baba, pero okay lang. Lord yung kapalit, Kuya Butters. At ito, no. Ah, hindi, hindi, hindi nabasag. May minion, may minion. Hindi, 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 hindi nabasag, hindi nabasag. Wala, minion. kung previous patch nyo, basagin. Oh, pero, <laughs> pero still, it is what it is. Kamunti ka na yun. Oo. Oh. Kamunti ka na. Well, it was a great move then from uh, Renjo na na-realize niya na, ay, teka, may minions pa pala. <laughs> Kailangan ko bumalik doon. Teka, guys, yung bot ko. <laughs> yung bot ko. Ngayon, yung side naman ng aura, talagang inaano nila, sana meron tayong trade na yeah. makuha Ooh. dito kahit nakuha nila yung Lord. I like the choice here, ha, by uh, Kelra. He went for Calamity Reaper. Hindi niya tinapos yung Thunderbelt kasi alam niya na hindi naman siya kaya ng Ling. Feather, Oracle to sustain against the... Uh, Feather, Oracle ang nagsama. Yung Oracle to sustain against the Lunox and the Holy Crystal. Para... Kasi ang, ang different round dito is the, ano, the Divine Glaive. Pero maganda yung Holy Crystal for the surge of the magic power during the Zaman Pool. And it's somewhat of a... Ano, it's a somewhat answer then indirectly. Oh! Para kay JD. Pero alam mo... Nakita mo kung ano ginawa nila dito Kelra Just letting his talent show Dito sa game na to At si Ling nandun Yung bot Yung Nandun bot. na naman siya Pumunta siya doon Para mag-recall Ang layo ng minion wave Sabi niya Teka, ang layo pala Hindi ko pa wala Ang layo Kailangan ko na umalis dito <laughs> Awit, awit sa inyo pre <laughs> Awit, awit lods May nag-call kasi Uy, Lord Hades Push mo yung bot Pagdating niya Pre, wala namang minions pre wala namang, Awit sa'yo <laughs> Awit sa'yo Awit sa'yo e Idolo <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo, Butters execution dito, naghihintay na lang sila. Probably the next Lord, pero kaya nilang i-take yung natitarang dalawang towers ng Aura PH. Pero again, the next Lord is gonna be the main point of contention for these two teams. The problem is, for Aura PH, there's no real way for them to actually contest against execution because of the existence of the Barats. Lord Hades, yung energy niya, may energy gap. Pero dahil yan, wala siyang purple buff dito. Wala siya purple buff eh. Oh, wala siya purple buff. Kulang, kulang. Energy gap. Alam, alam mo na. Next. <laughs> Kailangan maglaro ka ng champion way. Mga champion mga kasama oh. mo eh. Energy gap, di pwede. Pag, so, pag ano ka, may champion way ka, kahit wala kang purple buff. Start your day the champion way. Nice one. <laughs> no need purple buff. No need purple buff. Pero kasi kailangan mo yun eh. Kasi energy is key. Oo, oh, tama. Actually, pati si ano eh. Diba? Pati si Hayabusa. Oh, hey, no, mga, energy skill. Oh, energy. dapat champion way eh. Start your day the champion way. Pero champion si LBG eh. Kaya lakas niya rito. Oy! Speaking of champions, Lord Ladies, takbo! Hindi niya kayong patayin si Eto Max. Nagtatakbo parang akit bahay, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Lord Hades. Wala siya magagawa eh. Kailangan niya pahihitin talaga yung Tempest of Blades. And that is another opening na pwedeng gamitin na execration sa sarili nilang pagkuha ng fights. Walang yep. Tempest of Blades, pwede tayo lumaban. Yep. 70 seconds. The condition now for execration is to freeze the lane. Prevent out of PH from getting the resources that they... Nahuli! Nasipa! Nahuli! Nasipa! Walang Tempest of Blades. Ito yung sinasabi nating opening midnight. Grabe! Chakno! With a Chuck Mamba! Sabi niya sa mga kapi niya, Pre, walang lipad to, Pre! And I think yun talaga yung miss mong naging call. Oo! Walang lipad to, Pre! <laughs> Wala, walang lipad to, Pre! Tara, go natin! And this looks like something Execration has dreamt about dito sa game number 2 na to. All turrets, well, not all turrets, but 2 out of 3 turrets are down. 
sa side ng Aura Base and next creation may freedom sila magpapasok na sa base ng Aura PH if ever they want to but the fact remains auto push na yung mid at yung bot yeah oy grabe si Kelra binenta niya isang nimble blade hindi niya tinapos yung thunderbolt he went for the Athena kasi alam niya na ang papatay sa kanya dito is si Lunox pati na rin si Alice ah yung Azure Blade Oh, yung Azure, yung Azure pala. Yung Azure, yung, oh, yung nimble, nimble, nimble sa jungle yun. <laughs> oh, kulay white yun. Yung Azure kulay blade, white. yung kulay blue. Oh, yan. Yan, yan si Lord. Ito na si Lord. Yan si Lord si Hades. Lord. Nandito na naman oh. sa baba. Ang daming Lord na. Uy, al alam mo, uy. ito lang yung tinitignan ko dyan. Kung paano talagang makakahuli na naman dito si Chucky. Oo, oh, uy. Uy, oh, grabe sexy. naman yung, grabe naman yung uh, flickering, flickering. Oo, oh, pero flicker yun. Na-burn. Flicker ang na-burn. But then again, since ma mobile naman ang isang JP with the back shot, pwede na lang siya gumulong papasok ng laban. Yeah. Although, wala siyang extra mm. uh, mobility para makatakas doon yeah. sa fights. That's gonna be a problem against the Haret, no? Kasi kapag nakulong kayo sa Zaman Force, kahit pa sabihin natin makagulong ka, ang daming ways for execration para pigilan yung paggulong ni Baksha. Uy! Uy! Chakno! My goodness! With the play card! Nauli si Grid! Chakno! What a player! Legit! 100%! mga bagay na ginagawa niya dito is making all the difference para sa the execution and your order of brilliance hindi magiging available and Jack no with that game winning play this winning moment is brought to you by Head and Shoulders my goodness